What's up, beautiful people? Tunji again from Caesar Graphics. This is what we're going to be doing today. And if you're new to my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified anytime I drop my tutorial. And if you like this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. I will advise you share my video so as to help someone who's also looking forward to know how to do stuff like this. Okay, so I'll be right back. To apply the action to the list of actions you have in your Photoshop action panel, um, first you need to make sure your action panel is active. So if you can't find the action panel here as part of the list of buttons I have, you have here on your Photoshop, simply go to Windows and activate um, action here. This is it. So once you click on this, this pops out. To add the action to the list of actions you have in your Photoshop panel, simply click on this button to watch this tutorial. So, I need to let you guys know something here before we jump into today's tutorial. First, if you are using this action, you need to make sure your oil paint filter, which is under the highlights here, is not grayed out. Alright? You have to make sure this is active like this. So, see when I click on this, I have this on my screen. But if you can click on this, please, I would advise you update your graphics card or you watch um, video on YouTube or now to make this active. All right. Then the second thing I'm going to say here is I have two actions in the action folder. All right. I have the CG oil paint and I have the CG oil paint deep. Now, the CG oil paint is for small size images anything around um, let's say 700 by maybe 700 pixel should work with this all right but if your image is around 1000 pixel up I would advise you use the CG oil paint deep and if you don't know how to add the action to your action tab here I have a video here for you to click on that will teach you how to do that so enough of the talking and let's jump into today's tutorial first i have this guy's image on this tab here and i'm going to apply this cg oil paint deep because if you look at the size of my image here i have 1000 pixel by 728 pixel height so i'm going to click ok so i'm going to apply the cg oil paint deep okay so now you see i get this error message now the reason why this appear on my screen is because i did not remember to create the duplicate of my background layer so i'm going to hit stop and i'll hit ctrl z or command z till i get to the background um, layer back which is this so first you need to drag and drop this on your new layer icon like i just did now and i'm going to click on the cg oil paint deep now voila so this is it so uh now i have two layers i have this layer here that i'm gonna i i'm gonna teach you guys what i do anytime i apply this to my image uh, there are times when you feel the dot the dots on your image is too strong or it's too low so once you click on this one layer right here you can go to this opacity and then start adjusting the strength of the um the visibility of the layer so if i push this up now you see i have the afton effect too strong on my image so but i don't want something as strong as this so i'm going to push this down to about um let's say this level and let's see 27 oh yeah let's leave it as 34 so i like it like this i prefer this so let's go straight to the next image so i'm going to click on this tab to show the next image now first don't always forget to make a duplicate of the layer all right so i have this now i'm going to click on the cg paint deep now and right, let's see what this is going to look like all right so this is it now on this one you see the afton effect is too soft so i need to um make it more stronger so i'll click on this and i'm going to push this up it's beginning to look more like what i want so i'm going to push this to about this point right here let's look at 
to a four okay i'm gonna make it a four then uh the color is not um okay for my test too so we need to add more depth to it so we need to adjust the saturation so i'm going to click on this layer all right and i'll push this up and notice when i put it up you see the image looks more like a cartoon yeah like a cartoon like a comic uh image okay so i think this is it what wow. all right so i'm sure you enjoyed this video and i still have lots and lots of um, tutorial that I'm planning to release all right so I don't want you to miss it so remember to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified anytime I post those videos and please remember to hit the like button see you guys in my next tutorial peace out